Typically speaking, my videos are about nerdy stuff, but I wanted to talk to something that's been making me really angry lately. Uh, Senator Wendy Davis did this epic filibuster, I don't know if you heard, and basically she stood up to the entire Texas legislature to make sure this bill uh, wouldn't get passed. This bill that would have left only, I think, about five abortion clinics open in the entirety of Texas. And if you don't know how big Texas is, it's the second biggest American state next to Alaska, which probably means there's lots of room there for women who have the right to choose, but probably won't be able to thanks to this bill. But Wendy Davis, uh, she stood for 10 hours or so, and she wasn't allowed to sit, and she wasn't allowed to lean against anything, and that's kind of par and parcel for like how a filibuster works. But she was also yelled at incessantly by Republicans. This video is for the men, I use that term uh, very lightly, in the room, and men everywhere who basically behave like goddamn animals. Now, when Davis was offered a back brace to keep uh, herself able to stand um, by a fellow Democrat, Republicans shouted her down. I've said this before, um, and I'll say it again, to all the people, mainly the men who fought against and bullied Wendy Davis in the Texas legislature, what I hope is that your wives and daughters magically fuse into some massive robotic manifestation of female energy and kick your withered dicks off. Because, seriously, I would love to see that. I would watch that. I would pay to watch that. And then after I'd paid to watch it, and after I'd finished my goddamn popcorn, you know what I'd do? I'd sit Wendy Davis down and I'd give her a foot rub. Because that's what you do when you have the vaguest notion on how to act like a gentleman. Women are, by and large, smarter than us, they live longer than us, and they go through things physically which would make you wither up and die at the mere mention of them. And look, each and every woman is a precious snowflake and deserves your respect. And to treat them like this, whether they're senators, or waitstaff, or taxi drivers, or actors, or God forbid the Australian Prime Minister, shows such a sublime lack of character that if I had the money, and the inclination, I'd fly from door to door and punch you all so hard you'd explode. And I'm done. Next week, I will get back to posting Doctor Who videos and ranting about Elementary and Sherlock, but right now, I'm just really mad. And I feel a little bit better. So thanks for watching. <laughs>